Oh my goodness. You see it? What you do? Yay! Woohoo! First snake in Fiji. Alright guys, so just got all set up. Need some breakfast. Breakfast was amazing. Just set up the housing. Had to clean it out and redo the O-rings, grease them up so that they're ready for today. All sealed up. It's gonna be a long day. Really good diving day. Weather's a lot better than the last time we dove. So Woo! should be a really good day. Heading out to the boat now. Got all our gear hanging up there. Gotta grab my suit, some fins. Got the boys here. We gonna kill it today? <laughs> Kids playing, guys in the boat waiting for us. It's gonna be a good day. So just got back, look what we got. So this guy, he actually helped me find him. Touch it. It's cool, right? He's kind of scared of him. But this guy was actually in a coconut tree like this. So yeah, he was hiding up in this stuff here. And uh, we were actually looking for snakes, but you can see how well he can just go in there. Super cool. I just got back to my dinner plate and I asked what this is. And this is apparently jellyfish of some sort. Female pregnant jellyfish. Female pregnant jellyfish. Gelatinous thing. With coconut sauce. Cheers. That's gross. Bro. I'm gross. Gross. <laughs> I'm gross really weird. <laughs> Get him. And that's how you catch a land crab. They have that big pincher for battling and the smaller one they use more for eating. So Ryan just found a big hermit crab. It's incredible because these are the, just the exact same thing as coconut crabs. Just a coconut crab that evolved to not use a shell anymore. I mean, you can, you can see their faces, everything exactly the same. When we find one, you guys will see what we're talking about. All right, so Lolo just told me there's a snake over here. We've been looking for a snake for the past few days, so super exciting. I don't think it's a sea snake. I think it's a land snake, which I couldn't find any information online about, so let's go see where it's at. You see it? You see it? Let me see. Here. See? Oh, wow. Sweet. So he's right up there. We're gonna get a stick and try to get it down. I have no idea what type of snake this is. Guys, this is so crazy. Lolo just called me over. We were supposed to look for a snake later, but we heard there's this one in the house. So I'm gonna get a stick and we're gonna try to catch this. He's sitting in one little area. We need a stick to get him off the roof. So I'm looking for a falling stick like this. This will be perfect right here. So I'll break this and we're good to go. Now we're gonna move this table, and we're gonna put it up here, because the snake is sitting right there, right at the end of the stick. So I gotta stand up here. Good. Okay guys, so he's up here, um, trying to look at the head, because I don't know what type of snake this is. I think it's a boa of some sort. Yeah, it's a boa. So it's not venomous. That's the first thing you want to try to establish. Is it venomous? Is it not? Uh, yeah. So he's trying to go out under the roof. Um, and then we we'll climb up there. What you do? Yay! Like 
There we go. All right, all right. So, okay. we just got the snake. It's a little boa. Uh, and the coolest thing, he's not even trying to bite. Rest of my eyes. Guys, oh my goodness. So, I looked low, low scared holding the camera. Let me see. All right, that, that. So, he's not trying to bite at all. This is some sort of Fijian boa. I tried looking up online, there's zero information on them, only sea snakes. And they said, we find white, kind of brownish black snakes in the trees. And looked all day yesterday, couldn't find them. But now, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful snake. I'm gonna take them back so that we can get some good pictures on the real camera, because this is just the GoPro. But look, he doesn't want to bite. He just thinks my arm is a branch. Beautiful snake. Let's get him in the light. Woohoo! First snake in Fiji. Thank you so much. That was awesome, man. So cool. You guys can see his eyes are a little bit hazed over, which means he's gonna be in shed. Even his scales are a little bit gray, so when he sheds, he's gonna be even more beautiful than he already is now. But look at the pattern on this guy. So, all the kids are kind of scared of the snakes, but Catherine is brave enough to hold the snake. It's good to teach that the snakes are nice. Have a look at this. This is a snake that I didn't even know existed. As you can see, He's being really calm. We just got the camera back from the village. Hopefully the GoPro footage of catching him came out pretty good. I literally looked up online all day, all night before I left what snakes are in Fiji. And the only snakes that I found, it said there were three types of sea snakes. But when we got here to this remote island and I talked to the people in the village, I said, you guys ever see any snakes? And they say, sea snake or land snakes? And I was like, right then, I knew that we had to find one of these. So we looked. The kids actually took me to that beach down there. We looked up in the trees, didn't find them there. And from the descriptions, it sounded like a boa. But I didn't know if the snake was venomous because nobody ever touches them. I didn't have a picture. Again, I couldn't find any information. So Lolo came over last night. I said, you ever see snakes? And he goes, yeah, yeah, we see snakes. I said, I want to catch one. He goes, tomorrow, before I take the kids to school, we'll catch one. And that's exactly what happened. He asked his kids, he has five kids. And he said, you guys, you guys see any snakes lately? They said, yeah, in that house over there. This was a few days ago. So he told me, my kids see a snake. And we go, we walk down the beach. I grab my GoPro. I don't know how good the footage came out, but sure enough, this guy was sitting up in the rafters. He was coiled up and all I could see was the side of him like this. And it was a really pretty pattern. I was like, oh my gosh, there it is. My first snake in Fiji. Then we moved the table over so I could stand up and get up to the rafters and I found a stick outside that I could use to poke because I needed to see his head. I needed to see was this some sort of viper species, you know, I wanted to be able to tell if this snake was venomous or not. And when I moved his head over and he tried to get away, I saw he was a boa. I realized he wasn't venomous and I jumped up, caught the snake, brought him down. I am so excited that we were able to find one of these guys in my time here. I was asking around all the time. Different people gave me different information, but all kind of led to the same thing. And 
These guys can get pretty big. They told me a story where they caught one like two years ago, about eight feet long. You can see, if I put him on these rocks, he blends right in. If I put him on the palm tree, he blends right in. He is perfectly adapted for this environment. But guys, I'm just so stoked right now to be able to hold one of these guys and show you what they look like because there is not really much information on them. And after days of searching, finally found one. So super cool. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna keep him, actually I'm here for another, I think seven days. So I'm gonna keep him so I can learn more about him. And then before I leave, I'll let him go. Guys, you're not gonna believe it. I just put the snake in the tree to get some cool shots of him and look what happened. He got a skink. It just proves what I was saying about what they like to eat. He should wrap it up in a second. He just grabbed him right up here and then swung his body down. But what the heck? This is the way they hunt bats as well. They would hang their body and wait outside the cave as the bats are flying out and then whack, they would grab them just like that. Wow guys, so just got back to the village with the snake so that we could get some better images on the camera. Just look at this guys. If you put them up on here in this palm tree, you could see that he just blends right in. So that's where he would be hunting the geckos like we found and other small lizards like the skinks. But look, if you saw that from far away, you wouldn't even be able to tell he's there.